I want to learn guitar. Where should I start? Oh, man. That's the biggest question of them all, right? <laughs> well, I think, first of all, you have to have a guitar. If you want to learn guitar, then you probably should have one to, to start learning. I mean, gosh, there's so many different things that you can do as a beginner nowadays. Um, you know, used to, you only had like books or a teacher, basically, uh, or trying to figure it out yourself. You know, you could find a guitar from a friend or if you had a guitar yourself, you can either pluck around on it. You could go get some lessons uh, from somebody and hope that the teacher is good. Or you could, you know, maybe learn from a friend, which is kind of the same thing. Or hopefully you can stumble upon a guitar book. Nowadays, of course, we have the internet. And with the internet, we have all different kinds of apps and we have YouTube and there's just all these different things to do uh, or to try. And there's all these different methods and there's all these this different device out there. But at the end of the day, picking up and playing a guitar for the very first time, you're gonna go through the same basic steps um, or at least you should. If you don't, you're likely to get frustrated. Uh, what happens most of the time is most of the methods out there, maybe you've experienced this yourself in the past, for anybody watching this who plays, most of the time, most of the methods, uh, whether they're teachers or books or apps or whatever it is, just goes way too fast, gives you way too much information, starts to get you confused, overwhelmed, and feeling like you really can't uh, play the guitar, like there's something wrong with you, like wrong with your fingers or wrong with your, your brain or something like that, where you just don't really get it. And the, the kind of sad part about that is um, that is the majority uh, what happens a majority of the time. And in fact, a study done by Fender, uh, they found that nine out of 10 beginning guitar players, nine out of 10 quit within the first 12 months. Mm -hmm. And that's not a problem with the players as we only, you know, discovered later in life. It's not a problem with the players. It's a problem with the methods. And as I said before, most methods go way too fast. They give you way too much information they bog you down with terms and things and assume you already know all this information that you just don't know. And you need somebody to explain something to you in a very direct, easy, clear, concise way. So you know exactly what to do to take your fingers, put them on the guitar, start moving them around and making music with it. And most people aren't able to do that because of all those methods that are too complicated and, you know, uh, give you too much information and are overwhelming or whatever. And as a result, unfortunately, nine out of 10 guitar players quit. Now, that's not the answer to the question. The question is, what should I do first as a beginner? Well, the number one thing to do is to make sure that you have a person or a method or a something that will tell you exactly in every single detail and go slow enough for you to understand it exactly what to do at every single step. Like this simple, take your pointer finger, put it right here on this string, play it like this. Okay, great. Now move to the next thing, do it like this. Okay, now move to the next thing, do it like this. The reason why you need what we call baby, step, baby steps at that point in your journey, even if it seems too simple, it's because as a beginner, it's the hardest point ever to learn to play the guitar. Most people think that, man, when you start getting better at guitar, you start learning more complicated stuff, that's when it gets harder. It's exactly the opposite of that. It's the hardest when you're a beginner. And the better you get, the easier it gets to get better. Most people don't think about it like that. But in the beginning, uh, the reason why nine out of 10 people quit, because you, you you don't have, there's a short window of playing guitar where when you pick it up, you need to be able to get momentum, get a little quick win, something that feels like you're playing real music. So you can prove to yourself basically that you can do it, that you can move your fingers around, that you can make noises and sounds on the guitar. Uh, that actually sounds like something that feels and sounds like music. And as soon as you do that, that's going to give you another little shot of inspiration, another little shot of motivation, and you do it again. You get another little quick win. Then you build on that. And then you get another one, then another one, then another one. And eventually you're starting to play chords and you're starting to be able to play uh, little bits and pieces of songs and things like that. So I know that's a very general answer, but it's a very general question. What should I do as a beginner? Well, I always recommend if we want to get tactile with it, if we want to get down to brass tacks. I always recommend what's called... Um, one finger chords at the very, very, very beginning. So there are a few chords that you can play and it, it's not important what they are right now. My point is if I take one finger and I put it, let's say right here, this is on uh, the B string. And if I play only the three strings, the last three strings of the guitar, it sounds like this. It's actually a chord, but it only takes me one finger to do that. And there are some other one finger chords like this one, which is the B string, again, third fret, that's a different chord. 
and you can get used to the very, very basics of the guitar by using one finger. So what you're doing is you're getting used to putting your hand on the, on the neck, period, right? Most, like I said, most people go way too fast. In your very first lesson, some people will say, well, you need to play an A chord like this, or a G chord, or a D chord, and that's just way too much for an absolute beginner to do. So what's easy? Doing one finger. One finger on a string for the very first time. Holding the neck for the very first time. Strumming the guitar strings for the very first time. And when you do that, you can start strumming, and then you can start moving your fingers back and forth so you get used to that. So here's this other chord. I'm just gonna use these two chords. Watch what I'm doing with this. That's one chord. Here's the second chord. As a very absolute beginner, what I can do is when I get used to playing these two chords with one finger, I can start to strum and make a kind of a little song. Maybe I can strum four times. Then change chords. Something like that. The point is that doesn't sound like Eddie Van Halen or Tom Petty, right? But the very first time you pick up a guitar, if you're able to strum and you're able to make uh, some chords, able to make something that sounds like music and then change those chords, it feels like music. It sounds like music. You're like, I can do this. This is amazing. So as a brand new beginner, like I said, that's what I would recommend you do after you are, you have to have a guitar, right? To, to, to order to, in order to start playing the guitar. But I would recommend starting with what we call one finger chords and learning how to make the chord, how to strum the chord, how to put the chords together into what we call a progression. And that will be the easiest way to start playing the guitar. A lot of people move move too fast. So slowing oh, yeah. down and doing something simple like that and getting those little quick little wins. We talk about that yeah. a lot. Getting those quick little up. wins is uh, is going to help release those endorphins and make you motivated to try to you know get the next little win too. So Exactly. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. That was just a short clip of one of our longer Q&A videos. If you're interested in watching some more of those videos, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button over here. It's really awesome. Also, we got more videos over here, so check some out if you're interested in learning more about breakthrough guitar or advancing your guitar skills. Peace.